Hello, my name is Byron Serrano and I'll be presenting my network game and security coursework too. As you can see, I have opened up my uh, my project on uh, on the four different windows to demonstrate that uh, four different clients can uh, log on and interact with each other. That is for the first uh, criteria of the game. As you can see here, I can uh, create a room and go through each client and uh, join the room. As you can see, it, it demonstrates. Uh, so as you can see here, all players. So already here, you can see that uh, three out of the four clients are connected together. Now, just to go here, as you can see, just before clicking on the multiplayer, you have the option to store, um, to customize your, your own name. Now that uh, meets uh, just uh, that goes under the criteria of creating and storing customizable uh, uh, player profile. So obviously each profile gets given uh, their own uh, username, and that's obviously it's what you can name whatever the the player the user would want. Now as I press login, you can see that. Um, I can also join there and you can see that all four players are alike. Now just before playing the game, if I go and close this one here and open it up again, uh, there's two key things you can see here. here once you go back to uh, multiplayer you can see that uh, the username's name has stayed the same it's saved itself and when you go into the player's data you can see that the information uh, received has is encrypted so that uh, no one can understand what information has been stored there now if i go here and to login and then join again you can see again that all are interactive and then i go on each one and uh, ready up and as this one's the primary one i can start it up and as you can see um if i look for the other um, for the other uh, users here as you can see they can find each other so as you can see this blue this blue one here is moving so you can see that um, the players are are interacting and as i destroy this one you can see that on both screens um it it worked out and as you can see where it says suko score it's incremented by one on all of them so that uh, the photon has um, connected to all four clients Again, I've uh, implemented just extra things like power-ups. So here you've got just rapid fire. As you can see, obviously it um, increases uh, with, um, with the rest of the, the players. So they can see that he's also rapid fire. And then when it ends, uh, it prints out player Suko has won. And it returns them back to uh, the home page, uh, the the multiplayer lobby for the for the players to to start again. Now, if I go again in here to start up a new a new party again, um, and I go into each account and join that party. Uh, again, you can go to join random room because it's only been one created. You'll join the same room, but obviously you can go to show room and join that room again as well. Like again, the information stored um, with the same name, Suko. So as you can see, uh, when you go into here, let me give you an example of here. When I click on the chat, uh, if I write hello, uh, let me open up the chat for all of them. So if I write hello there, It sends a message to all four clients so that they all receive the message. 
Now, if you want to private message a client, you will just enter their name. So for instance, if I want to private message Zuko, I can write Zuko and just say, hey, how are you? And when I send, it will create a, a, private, a private chat where obviously the other two that ain't called Zuko would not receive the, the private uh, the chat invite. So now if Zuko's account wanted to jump in there and say, um, hi, I'm fine. Uh, the message again, the person that created the chat would be able to go into the chat and say hi and read the fact that it says hi, I'm fine. And there, from then on, you can notice that it's the private chat. Uh, for example, the other two that haven't been invited to that private chat would no longer have access, will, won't have access to that. And so they won't be able to read the messages that are being sent between the player one, two, three, and Zuko. Now, uh, for example, with this pie chat, you can obviously flick back to the original room, which has the rest of the players there. And you can do that with both. Um, that's about it on regards to the pie chat. Now, um, as you can see, when I close that again, I can open up the, the project again. And as you can see uh, in the leaderboard button, uh, when you click on it, it would register the latest uh, information that the player has um, has played before through my testing. I have managed to just rack up some points or just testing out the game and how it is. And uh, in the leaderboard, it stores the information. Uh, again, using that through uh, PlayFab uh, following the tutorials. Um, you managed to set up the, the leaderboard and that should be about it. Um, thank you very much.